babe, I told you no motorcycles in the bed. Well, what's up, guys? I'm Travis, and you're watching Upgraded RC. Okay guys, so for all of you that are following me, you know that on my last video, I told you that my next video is gonna be on rear steer for the bomber. Well, unfortunately, I'm waiting on a couple of parts for that still, so no problem. As soon as they come in, I will post that video, we'll get it going. But while I'm waiting, this just fell into my hands, guys. I, I had very little to do with this. Um, I'm out running errands yesterday on a Monday, and my good buddy Parker down at Hobby Hub Models calls me and goes, Travis, I got a Losi Pro Model X just came in, you want it? I'm like, hell yeah. So I got in my truck and raced down there as fast as I could, tripping over the threshold to get in the door just to get my hands on this thing. For all you guys that are looking for one of these, you know they're hard to find. I mean, if you get online and go to order one of these, you're gonna either find pre-order, back order, or sold out, which to me, all three of those mean that they don't have it and you're not getting it. So I knew a month ago that my hobby store, Hobby Hut Models, love those guys, Parker and Chris down there, anyway, they had 16 of these on order and it had already been a month or so and they didn't expect to get them back until probably October or maybe even Thanksgiving, you know. So when he called me yesterday and told me that he got one of these in stock, I was just thrilled. I couldn't believe that, that he got one, one of the impossible things to get. Anyway, guys, I'm very happy to have a local hobby store here that takes care of me. Once again, I'm going to plug them. Sorry. Hobby Hut Models, Parker and Chris, you guys are awesome. Guys, support your local hobby store. That's how this kind of stuff happens. They called me and told me they had one. I mean, when I walk in the store, they know my name, they know who I am, they know what I want. It's, it's great. I try to get everything I can from my local hobby shop, guys. If, if, if something goes down and breaks on a Saturday and you have a competition going on on Saturday or Sunday, you can run down to your hobby shop and go get it. But if you have to order it, I mean, forget it. You're looking at weeks. You, who knows when you're gonna get the damn thing. Anyway, I'm done about that, guys. Let's get on with this. Um, can't say enough. Thanks, Parker. So I was going to do an unboxing video, but you know what? If you're watching this video right now, you've probably already seen three or four or five other videos on unboxing this thing. It's a pretty popular item right now. So I'm not going to do that. I will tell you what came in the box real quick, and then I want to go over a couple things here, and then we're going to get outside and rip this thing. <laughs> so in my box, of course, I got this Losi. Promoto MX quarter scale bad to the bone RC dirt bike. And I don't know if you guys noticed that, it's sitting on this really cool stand they send you. So you can just set your bike on there and you can take off your tire, your forks, or whatever you want to do to work on this. It just kind of holds it for you. That's really cool. Also, when you're starting it up, the flywheel takes 30 seconds to get to full speed. So you want to kind of let it just sit here for a while. It's a great place for that. Also, they sent me another stand here. This is your competition stand. So what you do, it's collapsible, so you can put it in your backpack, then you can open it up and go ahead and put your rear tire in there. These fold out and supplied are two nails that go in here to hold this down. And then you can go ahead and you're ready to go. If you're, if you're at a track racing with some friends or something, you know, you don't want to sit here and hold this till the gate drops or the green flag drops. So you're ready to go. As soon as the flag drops, you can just take off in a wheelie here and run right to that first corner and get the whole shot money. <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool. Um, besides that, guys, you're going to get the new Spectrum DX3MX radio here. Uh, this is unique to the other DX3s that you've seen that Spectrum's come out with. This has a special switch on here to turn your flywheel on and off. It's also got a rate right here, so you can turn up the MSX MS6X rate, you can turn this up and down. That's basically how much, uh, I don't know what they're gonna call this, guys. It's kind of like an AVC or something, active vehicle control, but it's not. It has to do strictly with the flywheel, um, which is acting as some sort of a gyro inside, basically. But this is to turn that up or turn it down. We'll get into that in a little bit. Um, besides that, it's got a adjustment on here. You've got a trim and also a rate for the front brake. So this thing has real working front brakes on it, guys. Right here, there's a cable going down to a cable-driven piston and caliper, and that's what's gonna go ahead and work your brakes for you, and it's all adjustable on this radio, so that's pretty cool. Now, in the box, 
We also got some chain lube that you're going to want to put on here. They recommend that you clean your chain and sprocket off after every use and then lube it up with chain oil. I'm not sure how often I'll get that done, but we'll definitely get some on there. And then you've got some of the supplied tools that they send you here, as well as the forks I was telling you about to hold the stand down. You've got shock tools in here, tools for the forks. There's, there's uh, spoke wrenches in here. There's, there's a couple different tools in here. And also in the bag, we got this bag here of parts. Now, I know that the little plastic inserts here are for the rear swing arm to adjust your chain tension. There's a couple different ones in here. Um, and I know there's also little black spacers in here that are for adjustment on the right height of the front fork. So you can change the right height if you want to that way. I do not know what this big piece of foam in here is for. I have no idea. Guys, if you know what this big piece of foam is for, comment down below in the section. Let me know what this is for, just like I know what's going on there. Other than that, of course, they sent you a really nice manual. It's got everything in here on how to get going. And then in the back, it completely shows all of your parts, every single one, and they're listed in the back back here what they are and makes it real easy to order it and get you back on the road if you break something. But there's a ton of other parts out there, guys, that are aftermarket. And this is just, this is what came in the box, but this is just a very small amount. You can get plastic in six different colors. Same with the hubs and swing arms and sprockets. And oh man, there's just a ton of stuff, guys triple trees, all kinds of stuff you can change on this. The rider's gear, everything. So this is going to be really cool. There's going to be a lot of upgrades available right away to us, and we're going to be getting all of them. <laughs> Besides that, they did send you uh, another sticker kit here in case you want to take your number plates and change them to maybe a number that's on your dirt bike. They get you all these numbers here too to put up here so you can kind of customize that how you want. That's about it for what was in the box, guys. This bike here, I mean, what do I say about this bike, guys? This thing is just awesome. I mean, look at the detail on this. These are officially licensed Dunlop MX-53 knobby tires. You've got real aluminum wheels here. You've got forks that are completely adjustable. You can change out the fork oil in them. You can change out the pistons in them. You can change out the spring rates in them. This is I mean, that's just unheard of, guys. And look at the detail on this, how well it's actually done. I mean, they did a really, really good job on how everything just looks so great. You got your front brake caliper down here. Like I said, that's a, that's a, a cable-driven piston. It actually works. You've got really good suspension in the rear. Same thing, you can change out the oil and stuff. You've got a metal chain and aluminum sprockets that can be changed out. Uh, and this is a plastic swing arm, but I do know they have aluminum ones in different colors that you can get. On, on the back here, in the beginning, they had a problem with breaking the rear fender off when you were doing wheelies. So they went ahead and put this cool little pivot on here that pops up when you're doing a wheelie. And now you're not going to break your fender. Now you're resting on this hard piece of plastic they got here. That's a great idea. I mean, they did some testing on this before they got it down. They did a really good job. I mean, all the clothes on here, the jersey and the pants on this, it's real material. It's not no spray painted on uh, to a piece of plastic. The, the guy is nice and soft, kind of like, uh, I don't know, like a Barbie doll or something would be, I guess. I mean, it's really flexible. Uh, it, it just looks great. The attention to detail is awesome, guys. And you can change out the clothes. You can change out the boots. I mean, you can make this your own. I plan on taking all of this off to bare plastic and I'm going to do some nice stickers and decals with the upgraded RC logo on here and stuff. So I'm looking forward to that. And also all of the upgrades on this, we're going to get them all. But guys, this thing is, is amazing as far as the technology goes. Okay, so you get a 3800 kV brushless sensorless motor in here, which just rips. I mean, it's got all kinds of power. And then you've got a 2200 kV flywheel in here, which like I said, it's kind of acting as your gyro or to keep you upright, so to speak. Um, these right here are called lean bars. And don't quote me on this, but I believe they have three different adjustments on here for different heights. And then you can also just remove them once you get good at it and don't need the lean bars anymore. We're gonna leave ours on for right now. I have not run this at all, nor have I run any other one yet. So it's all gonna be new to me. I think I'll leave the leading bars on there for a while to try to save the material on this guy's leg and wherever else it may go down. But basically this, this really helps you on your corners. You can lay down like that and it just, it rides on these lean bars that have wheels on them and helps you get around the corner until you learn how to do it right. Um, 
I just can't say enough about this, guys. I just want to get out there and tear this thing up. So what do you guys think about this? I mean, is that cool or what? Guys, I've said enough about this. Let's get out there and rip this thing so that I can figure out what's going on with it. And I'll give you my thoughts on what I actually think of this other than what I've seen other people talk about. Um, let's do it. Let's, let's go get it, man. All right, guys. Let's fire this thing up. There's a switch right here behind his knee here. Go ahead and hit that. They both turn on. After all the beeps and stuff, now we're going to check our steering. Oh, there's our steering. All right. I got this one set up in our uh, competition stand. I don't have it nailed down, but we're just going to go ahead and rip off of it anyway. Uh, now let's go ahead and turn the flywheel on. This is going to sound like a jet engine or something coming on, I think. That does sound pretty damn cool. You're supposed to wait for 30 seconds before that fires up all the way before you take off. So I'm not going to subject you guys to that. I'll be right back. Sounds like a jet engine for sure. I'd say she's fired up and ready to go. Here we go, guys. First run. All right. Right off the bat. Nice. I haven't wrecked it yet. This handle's really good. I don't know what everybody's talking about. That is too cool. Oh my God, it hauls ass. <laughs> 42 miles an hour here on the asphalt, guys. I don't know which mode we're actually in. Um, maybe I should check that. I'm probably in dirt mode or something. This thing moves. I have to say that's pretty fast for an RC motorcycle. <laughs> This thing handles great though. I'm not having any problems with it at all. I guess you gotta keep your speed up a little bit or you'll fall down, obviously. It's kind of like a real motorcycle, but I think it's working great. Okay, so I did check and we are in asphalt mode right now, guys. We're gonna go ahead and put it to wheelie mode real quick. Let's see here, you can do this on the fly while you're driving if you're good enough to do it. <laughs> okay, now we're in wheelie mode. Let's see if I can get it going again. There it is. You go down, you're on asphalt, you can get it going again anyway. Okay, we're gonna check out the wheelie here. Oh yeah, that's cool. Let's see if I can do it going by the camera here real fast here, let's see. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Guys, I love this thing. You should see the smile on my face right now. I'm just in the wow factor. Okay guys, this was amazing. Wow, I mean, I had a great time. I started out in a big asphalt parking lot and that's probably the best way you should, you should learn how to use this. I mean, it was just easy to get going right away and I was able to do wheelies and everything. I, it, it worked out really, really good. And then I went out to the desert and found some hills and this thing climbs hills like nothing. Uh, came back and got on my track over there and buzzed up and down some dirt and did some jumps and some corners and. I'm, I'm very impressed with the way this thing handles. I mean, it's, if you've ever ridden a real motorcycle, it's, it's almost exactly like that. And if you're going too slow in the corners, you just fall down. But you wanna be able to stop in time too, so don't go so fast that you overrun your corner. It takes 100 feet to stop this from full throttle. I had this at full throttle and I, I did stop it. I mean, on the dirt, I was able to lock up the front tire and make skid marks. It locks up really good. 
It hooks up really good. I'm, I'm throwing five, 10 foot roosters out when I'm taking off. I mean, this thing's really cool, guys. The technology in this is amazing. That, uh, that flywheel, it's acting like the gyro just, it keeps this thing super straight. As long as you've got the speed going, you're good to go. Uh, the wheelies were awesome. They were very controlled. I had very little problems at all pulling one. The fender looks like it's in great shape, so that worked. Um, the suspension on some of the jumps, I mean, I, I, I hit some pretty big jumps and this, it soaked it all up, no problem at all. I did notice that my chain is a little bit on the looser side now, and it seems like my tire wants to spin just a little bit easier. I've worn the brakes down some. Uh, other than that though, I mean, my guy got a little bit dirty. There's a couple scratches, but nothing to, to complain about. It still works great. This is awesome, guys. It's, it's unlike anything else I've ever done in RC world. I mean, it's really cool. And something I didn't show you guys before, but right here, it's, it's also got a little mini shock on the inside right here that it keeps you from destroying the front end when you're hitting something. It, it just, they thought of everything when they did this. They did a great job. Good job, Losi. I, I don't know what else to say about this, guys. I, I love it. I'm gonna put a lot of upgrades on it. I'll do some more videos. I'll get out there and hit some bigger hills. We're gonna hit some bigger jumps. I gotta clean my track up a little bit right now. It's a little bit uh, weedy right now. I'll get some of the weeds gone and I'll clean it up and we'll get out there and I'll get some laps down to where I can just do some several laps and I can show you guys what's going on with consistency. But yeah, I've got big plans for this thing, guys. Uh, they do sell street tires for this. I'll probably pick those up. So if I wanna go back out and play on the asphalt again, I'm not destroying my knobbies. Uh, that's a that's about it. I can't really think of anything else to tell you guys. This was awesome. I had a great time. It accelerates good. It brakes good. I tried it in wheelie mode, dirt mode, and asphalt mode. They all work the way they're supposed to. Um, these these training wheel things. I probably going to keep them on for a little bit longer. They saved me saved me a lot today from from just destroying the whole side of the bike. So I'm I'm pretty happy with that. Guys, <clears throat> I don't know what to say. If you want a motorcycle. This is by far the best RC motorcycle that has ever come out on this planet. There's nothing that even comes close to this. There's no competition whatsoever. This is it. If you want an RC motorcycle, or you just want to feel a different driving experience because you've done the basher thing, you've done the crawler thing, you know, you're thinking about getting something else, this is awesome. It's kind of like bashing, but a totally different uh, aspect on it, different spin completely. You guys will enjoy it. I enjoyed it. There's going to be a lot more fun coming soon. You guys take it easy. I'll see you on the next one. I'm Travis. Thanks for watching Upgraded RC. Peace out!